This is the third section in the linear transformations chapter, and this deals with enlargements and stretches. Now, enlargements we know about. So, let's say we've got a shape like this, and we've got an enlargement. Okay, so if these lengths were, I don't know, three and four, then an enlargement, let's say, of a scale factor three, you would end up with nine and twelve. That's what an enlargement does. Now, what a stretch does is it enlarges it or stretches it in one direction, in the x direction or the y direction. So, for example, uh, if we had something like this, let's start for the same shape again. I know this isn't a scale. Never mind. Three, four. What we could have is something that enlarges it by or stretches it by different amounts in different directions so let's say for example we ended up with a uh, nine here and eight here what we've got in the um, x direction we've ended up with an uh, enlargement or a stretch of three but in the y direction we've just ended up with a, a stretch of two yeah, so don't assume it's the same in both directions. A stretch will be different in both directions. So last example, if I had uh, something like this, let's start with the same shape again. So uh, three and four, and uh, we might have something like this. I end up with something which is eight and three. So this one, in fact, there's no stretch in the y direction, sorry, the x direction, but the y direction, we've got a stretch of two. So stretches are basically um, enlargements uh, of different values in the x and the y direction. That's a stretch, whereas an enlargement is the same in the x and the y direction. Right, so we've got this matrix here. Find the image um, T dash of the triangle with those vertices under the transformation represented by M. Right, so we do the transformation 3002 of the points of the or the vertices of the triangle 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. So we multiply that out, see what we get. So you'll have uh, 3 plus 0, which is 3. We'll have uh, 3 plus 0 again, which is 3. And then we'll have 6 plus 0 again, which is 6. Bottom row, uh, 0 uh, plus, and then that'll become 2. And then we'll have 4. And then we will have 4 again. Right, so that's going to be the uh, image, so if we write the points down as coordinates, we've got coordinates 3, 2, uh, 3, 4, so each column, and 6, 4. Okay, part B, we're going to attempt to try and sketch this. So I've got my uh, wonky axis and numbers to draw out. So on the X axis, I need to go up to six. Let's try and be as accurate as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. And in the Y direction, I only need to go up to four. One, two, three, four. So let's plot each one of these points and see what we get. So we'll draw the original one, T, which has coordinates one, one. Uh, 1, 2, and 2, 2. Right, okay, so this is T. This is a shape that we start with. And T dash is going to be 3, 2, um, 3, 4, and 6, 4. So 6, 4, which is going to be here. So this is going to be T dash. Because I haven't drawn it on a, a grid, it may not be easy to see, but I can see that it's stretched in this direction uh, more 
than it's stretched in this direction it looks like but we'll see we can look at that in part c in part c says describe geometrically the transformation represented by m in part c right so let's have a look at maybe the length of the triangle in the x direction here so one has become a length of three here so it's a stretch of three in the x direction and in the y direction a length of one here has become two so it's a stretch of two in the uh, x direction so we'll write down stretch of three in the x direction and a stretch of two in the y direction we could talk about parallel to the y direction or parallel to the x direction so basically it's gone like that that way and this way it's gone like that okay there's a whole lot of information here which you can pause and have a look at but basically the first bit basically says that if you've got a matrix which is a 0 0 b then the a represents how much it's going to stretch in that direction and the b represents how much it's going to stretch in that direction okay if a and b are the same then it's just going to be an enlargement okay so if a equals b you just get a straightforward enlargement that we're used to and basically a or b will give us the scale factor the second bit basically says that when you do any type of stretch or um, enlargement the x and y axis don't move they are invariant lines okay so everything else stretches but the x and y axis well you can't really stretch them they're both zeros it's like trying to stretch zero it will stay they those points will stay where they are so the x and the y axis under these types of transformations they're invariant okay they're not moving anywhere invariant then the last couple of bits so this is basically saying that if you stretch in this direction then basically any points in the in the y direction are invariant and if you stretch in this direction okay it's going to be any points in this direction which are invariant so if you just stretch in one direction or the other then basically the other set of points are invariant and the last bit this is an important bit so if we've got a transformation matrix M, so this represents a transformation. Transformation. If we work out the determinant of this matrix, it actually represents how much the area goes up by. It represents the area scale factor. Yeah, for our matrix that uh represents any linear transformation yeah so if you've got a set of points and um, it's a linear transformation then the determinant of that matrix gives you the area scale factor okay for any linear transformation so not just these enlargements not just these stretches okay and that's going to be really useful the determinant of the matrix that does the transformation that will give you the area scale factor right okay so here we want to fully describe the transformation matrix represented by m so we do not need to draw the lines we just compare it to what we know so the two represents a stretch in the parallel to the x direction so we'll put stretch times two parallel to the x direction uh, whereas the four that's a stretch times four parallel to the y direction yeah 
So we just compare it to the matrix that we know, which we just talked about, which was this A0, 0B. So you can always go back a slide if um, you've forgotten about that. Part B, a triangle has these vertices here. Find the area of the triangle. So that might be helpful to sketch it out. Okay, so I can find the base and the height of it. So uh, where are we? 1, 0 is where 1 point is. So 1, 0 is there. And then 4, 0. So let's put 1 here. I don't need to put all the other numbers in. So 4 there. And then 4, 2. Okay, so this is at the number 2 here. So this is my triangle. Okay, I want to find the area of that. So I just do half base times height. So that's going to just be half the base, which is 3, times the height, which is 2. So that gives me an area of um, 3, and I'll just call it square units. Yeah, they're not centimetres or anything like that. In part C, it says that the triangle is transformed by the matrix M. Use the determinant of the matrix M to find the exact area of T. So basically, um, the object, the thing that we started with. So if we say area of object times by the determinant of the transformation matrix that we'll call M, will give us the area of the image. So we now need to work out the determinant of our transformation matrix. Okay, and that's AD minus BC. So that's two times four minus zero times zero. So that's eight. So that is the area scale factor. So the area of the object was three. The determinant of M was 8, so the area of the image is 24 square units. So that would be our final answer for part C, the area of the shape we started with times by the determinant of the transformation matrix to give us the area of the image. Right, you should now be able to do exercise 7C on pages 138 to 140. So um, we'll just write this area of object, the shape that you start with, times by the determinant of the transformation matrix, transformation matrix uh, will give you the area of the image. OK, that was probably the, the main thing. And then we talked about a matrix like this. OK, where A, a represented a stretch by A in the X direction. B represented a, a stretch of B in the uh, Y direction. If A equals B, then we basically just have uh, an enlargement. So not a stretch. Um, of scale factor A or B, but it's because it's the same number.